Hey YouTube, recognize this guy? Time for a fish room update for December 2016. Stay tuned for all the details. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again coming at you with a fish room update for December uh, 2016. This should be the last actual full fish room update for the year. But I uh, just wanted to uh, show you what I've been up to, and we'll start downstairs in the basement fish room. Um, I guess we'll get right to it. You can see a little bit of a change over on that side. I took down um, some shelving that I had, moved the 75 uh, stack with the uh, grow out tanks, or fry tanks, I should say, all the way down to the end. And I've got two new tanks. Sorry about this uh, stuff in the way, but gotta live with that. Grabbed a couple of 210 gallon tanks from my buddy Mike Mann. Um, Mike has scaled down his hobby um, drastically and uh, so I've uh, had the opportunity over the last, well, couple months I guess, to pick up some fish and some tanks from him. Um, so these are what I got here just this past weekend. Depending on when I air this, it might be two weekends ago, I'm not sure. but. These are both uh, 210 gallon 7 foot tanks. They're old oceanic tanks, which are just solid bulletproof tanks. Uh, they don't make them like this anymore. Um, really happy with them. They're heavier than heck. It was uh, just a bear to move these, but we got it done and uh, picked up some fish along with it. Um, we'll start at the top here. Uh, I've got uh, a new Umbi pair from Mike. Uh, this is Optimus. This fish actually was in my fish room at one point, um, way back when he was just a little uh, grow out. Um, but uh, it was, Mike had given me a batch of Magnus and Beast Fry and I started growing them out and he was over one day and saw, saw this guy and really liked him. So I, uh, a couple of days later, gave him back to Mike and he actually grew him out. And then the female here, Matrix, She's a little dinged up. They've been they haven't been playing well in their new home, and she's been a little stressed, but she'll recover. Um, that she is uh, the product of uh, Mike's old umbi called Thor, and then another female. But these guys are great. Um, they're getting settled in, and it's taking a little bit of time, but uh, they will. Uh, be just as good as ever once they get settled into their new homes and feel comfortable. This guy's just a beast. Well over 12 inches, probably, I'm always bad at measuring, but 13, 14 inches, somewhere in that range. So, a lot of room for him in this tank. He'll be able to live here for a long time. And then down below we've got the Dovi that you guys will recognize from Mike's videos, um, Orion. This guy's well over 20 inches. Just an awesome fish. You just... Video doesn't do this guy justice as far as his uh, size until you see him in person. But, uh, you know, the size of his mouth compared to my hand and fingers here will give you a little bit of an idea. And then his female's back here. She's, oh, 12 inches, somewhere in that range. Real beautiful. They've been settling in quite a bit better than the umbies above. Not that the umbies are doing badly, but um, at one point I thought that they were actually getting ready to spawn already, just with some of the behavior like two days ago. But uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I picked up two FX6s um, on the uh, Black Friday sale that PetSmart had. 170 bucks a piece that's half off so I'm rolling those on here and I've got a few sponge filters that were already seated on here not sure if I'll keep them on or not and then this uh, marine land c530 is just on here until I get some longer tubing and then that's going to go on one of my tanks upstairs all my tanks down here now are off of hang on the back and canister filters except for these two and I'm purely running air on every single tank down here um, I think I covered this in a recent video, but I've got an air system now. Um, you can see this fan up here. And then I've got a um, Pondmaster 100. I think that's what it's called. 
right here that's running the entire fish room. You can see uh, the uh, PVC and the hoses, or yeah, hoses coming down um, to each of the tanks, running sponge filters in each of the tanks, and it's working out great. <clears throat> Looking forward to seeing the change in my electric bill on these things. But anyway, let's uh, just kind of go through all the tanks then and uh, try to keep this as short as possible. Up here is one of my um, Hadiensis pairs. This is the bigger of all the males, uh, the one I like the best. Um, they have not spawned with me, but they had spawned um, before I got them uh, with Mike, so it's just a matter of time. They're only in a 75 now, but they'll be going in a 180 really soon, the way, um, if, if all goes as planned. These are just fry tanks. I do have some uh, Laviatus grow-outs, Red Devils, or not grow-outs, but fry. And then this is, this is the last of my Red Devil pair doing really well. Um, these guys are awesome. I may get rid of them. Not quite sure yet, but they spawn regularly for me. Um, looks like uh, they're pretty much uh, ready to go at this point, just based on her behavior in there and her tube's starting to come down. So, uh, over here, we'll go check out the uh, Redis Latest. Not much new with them. This guy's just really fun still awesome dude um, the females in the tube right now he's trying to get at her but of course he can't fit in there Let's see if maybe she'll come out the back there she comes out the front so they spawned for me once recently in the last couple of months but then uh, the eggs got eaten and didn't make it down below here is another Hadiensis pair. It's the male. He's really nice too. And then the female. They have they spawned for me once since I've gotten them. Uh, but the pleco in there ate all the eggs. They couldn't fight off a big pleco that I forgot that I had in there. So I uh, took the pleco out. So now we'll see what happens. Over here are the Motas. They have a new batch of swimmers. Looking really nice, as always. These are the real Blancos. Try to get over at a different angle, so maybe you don't see as much of the background glare there. You can tell they've been uh, lip locking a little bit. But yeah, these guys are doing well. Couldn't be happier to have these guys in my fish room. I don't remember if I talked about it in my last video, but this tank is used to be a 125. I've upgraded to a 180. Down below is my other Umbi pair, the ones that I've had for quite a while. These ones um, I am selling. Uh, get in touch with me if you're looking for a nice Umbi pair. This is a, a male from Magnus and Beast, F1. Great looking Umbi. And that's a wild caught female that I got from Raps. They're a proven pair as well. I just don't pull the fry anymore. Next door here is the Sequia Colony. Um, they're doing good. Haven't had any um, breeding going on in here that I'm aware of, but um, I'm sure they will. It's just a matter of time. You guys are looking really nice. And then up above here is my magma, red magma flower horn. Man, it's kind of tricky when you're at tanks at every angle in a, in a room to avoid glare, but anyway. Try to get a side profile of this guy. 
Looking really good though. And then uh, my Confa Colossus. This guy's looking great. Love this fish. He's really been growing nicely. Got some good color on him. And then down below here is the, uh, the one of the Midas. This guy's got the bright orange colors, really looking well. Um, the female is the white one, and she's behind this pot right now. Let's see if we can get a. She's hiding. He must have been a little rough on her or something. They typically get along well, so I'm not sure. He's, she's usually kind of swimming right along with him. There she is back there. Wish she'd come out. She's real nice looking too. And then we've got some uh, um, grow-outs here. Red is latest grow-outs. Here's one of them. Typically they'll come out, well, typically they're always out. Um, I think their water's a little cold right now from water changes. Put a little Southern Delight in there. That's the Southern Delight small cichlid. Yeah, I think we just got some stress going on from the temperature, but that one's eating. There's six of them left in here that I'm going to grow out. Just kind of see what happens. There's one hiding behind the sponge. Another one in that pot there. Uh, down below here is another Hadiensis pair. The male and the female. They um, do a lot of lip locking. Sometimes she colors up completely black. But they haven't uh, shown any signs of uh, breeding behavior yet or anything like that. But out of the three pairs I have though, these ones are the most a active actually. The other ones tend to hide a little bit more in tubes and things like that, whereas these ones, even though they have plenty of hiding spots, they're out and about more often swimming around, um, interacting with each other and stuff. But you can see both of their uh, mouths and heads are a little chewed up because they do do a lot of lip locking. We'll move upstairs here then, that covers the basement, other than the shrimp tanks, which I always do a separate update on those. Um, the discus tank is doing well. I'm going to shut the shade here to cut down on glare a little bit. Um, got a big, um, I don't know if this is blackbeard algae or what it's called, but a uh, big problem that I gotta go in and get this scrubbed. Ooh, there's an Amato shrimp. You don't see many of those out. Um, yeah, the big guy here is kind of running the show, but they're all doing good, really. Got one of my blue ones that got some scrapage and had been tussling with another discus. Can't see it right now where the marks are on him. Oh yeah, right there. But anyway, this is going well. This tank and uh, what I'm thinking is uh, I'm gonna get rid of the serpes and um, get more um, cardinal tetras just because I like the look of that better. And now that I've taken those out of the 90 gallon in my office. Um, I just didn't want to have them in two tanks before, and uh, so we're going to go that route. And then we'll head into the office here and finish things off. Um, 
Got the 90 gallon shrimp tank, cherry shrimp, painted fire red shrimp with the Uwagumi Aquascape, Uwagami, however you pronounce it. Seems like every time I pronounce that, someone says you're pronouncing it wrong. But it doesn't really bother me, whatever. Um, so yeah, doing some doing some cherry shrimp in this tank and I'm really enjoying this. It's kind of a nice tank to have in my office. Just turn around from my desk and take a look at it while I'm working throughout the day. Various qualities of cherries in here. Some of them are of the painted red quality. Here's a buried female by the way. Those of you guys that are more fish people and not shrimp, what buried means is pregnant. You can see right at the kind of area there, there's a, there's a um, she's got a bunch of eggs and there's I don't know if you can tell in this video but anyway she's holding a bunch of eggs so that's a good thing some breeding has happened in here I did recently uh, find some uh, some babies so that's a good sign I'm doing pretty good keeping these shrimp with co2 running um, so so far so good on that um, I did lose some because um, I thought I thought I had gotten rid of all the loaches that I had in this tank um, prior to putting in the shrimp. I had some loaches to kill the scuds that I have, if you remember from a few months back. And one day I was doing a little maintenance and the loach shot out from underneath this carpet. There's a spot back here where um, I had cut some off to sell. And so I figured that the loach had been picking off shrimp probably at night because uh, the loach was never out during the day. But I had like 300 and I, I was down to about 100. I picked up 100 more from my buddy Carl, local guy here. So I should, I've should i got over 200 sh shrimp in this tank now, so hopefully we can get some good breeding going and just have this tank filled with nice red shrimp. And then finally, we got Cheeto over here. He's doing good. Also, the loaches are doing good. I put some um, tubes in a pot, or a tube in a pot in here to give the loaches some hiding spot space because they really didn't have much so they were always just kind of bundled together in an area and uh, it, it seems to have made things better for both Cheeto and the loaches to have them being able to go in those tubes and stuff like that but this guy's doing great um, super cool to have him up here in my office now um, just a wonderful fish by far my favorite fish He's got great personality, great coloration, just an all-around nice specimen. So, if you're new to this channel, he's a Midas cichlid, Amphilophus citronellus. My uh, bircher back here is starting to grow. Um, getting a little bit bigger. Got that albino, can't remember what type, but some sort of albino pleco. It may just be in common albino. And then, of course, the loaches. But yeah, um, other than that, guys, that's about all I have for you this week. I'll try to get a shrimp update out to you, those of you that are, enjoy looking at the shrimp, uh, by month's end. Um, if I don't get any more video updates out by Christmas, everybody have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you do subscribe. I post regular updates on... Um, on my channel on all my different types of tanks I keep I have a small reef tank I keep shrimp and I keep freshwater cichlids so stay tuned for more videos to come in the new year um, and again Merry Christmas Happy New Year um, check me out on Instagram check me out on Facebook and check me out on Twitter as well thanks for watching guys